In this video we are going to talk about the character and mission creator expansion for Star Saga. So this is going to come with the guys pictured here on the box and then I'm sure just a whole boatload of cards and uh, some guidelines for how to build missions and whatnot. Seeing as how this stuff uh, came on Kickstarter, at least for me, um, I basically knew all the other missions that had come out and like about the minions and about the quality of the the, the models and whatnot, and, you know, just kind of the MO for the whole thing, except this, for whatever reason, was kept under complete wraps, so I really don't know anything about this box, or its contents, or how it works, or any of that, so this is going to be pretty exciting for me, and hopefully you as well. So let's see what is inside this. As usual now, we have a plastic insert to fit all of your gubbins. A whole bunch of custom cards, it looks like, so we can build a ton of our own mercenaries and bosses. Um, that's really cool. I like that. It's very simple. Just a nice template. Uh, we have the mercenary cards of the guys who are pictured on the front of the box. All their descriptions were in Kickstarter, but that was quite a while ago, so I don't remember much about them other than what I know from previous... Uh, encounters in the Warpath universe of knowing what their species is. So we have the Sudachan guy, I'm assuming he's psychic, a shooty killy robot, because who doesn't love a shooty killy robot, a uh, tech specialist, like specialist Teraton guy, a uh, Hund, um, who is actually a character in Dead Zone, so it's cool to see his appearance in this, but he's a Rin, not a nomad because he's a named character, uh, Shade, who looks like an astronaut orc or something. I don't know. He looks like he's in full armor though. That's pretty cool. Another Killy robot. Looks very Starscream, very Transformers. And so those are the new mercs. Holy cow, I was not... Oh my goodness. Just look at the, the color. So this is basically... Um, so you have an additional set of Nexus stuff, which you can kind of see in the package is like a different color. But everything before that is uh, new minions. <laughs> so basically, as far as your imagination can take you, as as deep as your campaign that you can picture in your mind can run, you now have cards to throw down. Uh, I don't know if this is the, the basis of how to build a character, or if these are all minions. I haven't really checked, or I don't know yet. But yeah, and then a whole ton of Nexus cards. Oh, this one's minions. So this must just be characters you can build, or like the bases, yeah. So maybe, yeah, you start there and then you can like add skills and change stats and stuff like that. So I don't know, I, I have to read it. So uh, yeah, here we have a ton of Nexus cards it looks like. Um, some of them look, so like this one looks like it's specific to zombies. Um, so plague minions, that kind of thing. And then this is a whole bunch of minions as well. So holy cow, this is so many cards. Um, more skills, more bonuses. Is this whole deck skills? If it is, then my goodness, they really outdid themselves if that's true, which it probably is. These look like all items because it looks like rare items. And then, oh, secret objectives, that's interesting. That's new. Oh man, I know nothing about this, <laughs> this, this whole expansion, so that's really exciting. Uh, yeah, more items, more skills. Oh my goodness. So this is like specific stuff for your class, which is really neat. Um, so it's not just like the general, oh, he's good at shooting. It, this is like a, a Matsudan specific card. So that, that makes me think that there's a whole bunch more like that. Not a very thick book, considering how many cards there are here. Oh, a blank mission book as well. Oh, so you can like make it super legit. You can like literally write out a mission book just like they do. That's really cool. So yeah, totally blank. And then you can draw out the map and really go to town with it. It's gonna be really neat to link your Dead Zone or Warpath games in with Star Saga and then kind of use this if you have specific ideas, like you need to infiltrate the Forge Father base or something. So then you can pick Forge Fathers as your minions and then play it out, so. Pretty rad. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, like I said, not a terribly thick book, so that makes me think it must be fairly easy to build characters and um, build missions. There's some cool background fluff on all the miniatures, 
as per usual for mercenaries. And then, yeah, it looks like some basic guidelines of building stuff, and then just kind of, uh, yeah. This is how you really go in depth and really, really go with your imagination, it looks like. So yeah, basic stuff. Um, let's just crack open some of these cards because I, I'm very curious. So just like with the rest of the stuff, I don't want to show too much, but it looks like you get to pick, uh, you know, really just the base of your of your guy, and this is a pretty dang encompassing um, set of the Warpath universe. Uh, it looks like, yeah, it's pretty in-depth. It's got most of the races in there. I mean, not all the obscure ones from Dreadball, but it looks like, you know, pretty much the majority of them. If you have a favorite race, it's probably in here. And then, like I said, I haven't read it yet, so I'm not exactly sure, but it looks like you pick, like, armor cards or tactics or um, kind of what your guy is good at, and then that's kind of how many points, just from looking at it. That's, that's what my guess would be. And so you can kind of build, like, a cool guy. And then a whole bunch of Nexus cards, so that's always good. Lots of variation coming up ahead. So that's pretty neat. I want to see the minions, and then I'll probably do it for this video because I don't want to just ramble about things I don't know. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I love rambling. Okay, so a couple more Enforcer things. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. All right, so this is how... Oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's so great. So you can start building your missions based on the enemies you want, and these are all, like pretty much all the dead zone races are in here, and a bunch of dead zone models. You can just start building your own missions, and oh yeah, just regular Veermen. So if you don't want to play the Black Star Station or something, but you really want to fight against Veermen, you can pick just straight up Veermen. Um, yeah, get the most out of your models because you can really cross games now, especially if you want your own specialist guy, you can build a mercenary that is, you know, um, one of the races that you really enjoy in the Warpath universe, or you can fight against, or blah 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 blah. Looks awesome. I can't wait to dive a little bit deeper into it and check out um, just how deep it goes. Here we have the mercenaries that come in the mission expansion creator and the character creator. So first up, we have Kur Kila. He is a Terraton who specializes in shooting and tech. He is a, a little smaller than most Terraton. Well, not most, because he's a male Terraton, so he's a male Terraton size. Next up, we have Hund. Hund is a Rin who is good at assault and shooting, um, as you would guess with his arms. All of these miniatures, uh, they look really good, but uh, they might need a little bit of hot water just to get things in the right place. Like his arm looks t t a tiny bit funky. But that's all right. Next up on the roster, we have Kizai Uru, who is a Sudachan uh, with telekinesis, and I'm sure that has some shenanigans in Star Saga. It's kind of a slug type with a big helmet, um, very 901 of his helmet, you know. Next up, we have KR-OM3, who I'm just going to call, and I'm sure most people do, Krom3. Uh, he is a robot. Uh, like I said earlier, he looks very Transformer-ish. Um, great big shields. Uh, I don't know if they're wings or something, but yeah, he's got big ol' shields, and he's very reminiscent of the transforming robots from Dreadball. I think that's, story-wise, that's what he is. He's like a killy version of those guys. So I wonder if he does transform. I don't know yet. Then we have Shade. Shade is an orc, but he's in, like, heavy armor. Uh, he is an assault, shooting, and speed type, so he's pretty quick, moving at 6, which is pretty cool. Uh, again, a little bit of hot water will make him stand up a little bit straighter, but I'm just showing you, showing you these miniatures straight out of the box. And then we have Orion. This is a, another Killy robot. Uh, pretty classic sci-fi looking robot here. Um, kind of Stargate-ish, I think. I don't know, I haven't really seen a lot of Stargate, but he looks kind of Stargate-y to me. Uh, cool weapon. Uh, cool thing about robots is they can't be injured. They just, they're like always good to go until they're not, so that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, so these are the six heroes in this box. Um, can't wait to dive in deeper and figure out what I like about them, what I don't like about them, who I want to paint first, all that kind of jazz. Right off the bat, I really, I, th I really like Orion. I think he's really neat. Um, 
I don't know, something about just a classic killy robot. <laughs> I don't know, I like that. Um, uh, probably runner-up here would be Hund. It's it's nice to have an alternate model for him. Plus, he can he can count in the Rebs list uh, for Dead Zone, so that's another cool bonus for him. So yeah, those are the miniatures that are in the expansion for the character creation and mission creation. So there you go. So. That is the character and mission creator expansion. Thank you for watching this video. Please check out all the other unboxings for Star Saga because uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. So yeah, check it out. Um, I can't wait to start Star Saga-ing. So there you go. Thanks for watching and um, please check out the other ones. Laters.